Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. We got Hila right here and she has got a tick right on her belly. Now she doesn't really want me going in that area, right? A lot of dogs don't. Huskies are like, dude, please don't mess with my belly. But today I gotta get there and I gotta get that tick. Now, hold on, I'm gonna show everybody. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you guys the tick, show you exactly what it looks like when it's on your Husky, and then we're gonna remove it. It's a little bit tricky, a little trickier than other dogs because they have a double coat and their fur is long. But luckily today, this tick is in a spot where I can easily get to it. Now let me show it to you real quick. Can you lift your leg, missus? Let's go right in here. Get as close as I can for you guys. Right there. There he is. There he is. So you guys can see him right there. You see his little legs? See his head poking in there? Get a little bit closer. Just a little bit. Get that right there. All right, there it is, you see him? Yep, that's him. We're gonna get rid of him, and we're gonna use what's called a tick key. I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like. Oh man, you can touch him, and he will move. Like, see his little legs being like, oh, no, no, I don't want to come out. I know, missus, I know. It's not comfy. We're gonna get it out right now, okay? We're gonna get rid of him, so let's do it. Let's get you to lay down. You lift your legs, please. Okay. He's still a little bit out of the skin, so I'm gonna go get tweezers and just pick him out with tweezers. So I'm not sure how well you guys can see, but it is absolutely removed. I just got it all out and it's completely out of her belly. You can see the difference. It is, the head is out, everything's out. I'm gonna show it to you right now. What you wanna do is put a little bit of alcohol on it and just wipe the spot down. You feeling better, miss? Does that feel a little bit better? Now I know that that was kind of hard to see and you guys didn't get to see right up close in perfect HD, but removing a tick can be a little bit difficult if you don't know what you're doing. So let me show you exactly what we use today. This right here is called a tick key. Now tick keys are one of the best ways to remove a tick from your dog's body, but it can be a little tricky. You gotta get the tick in that little corner there and then you have to twist the key. If you just pull up, you're probably going to get the tick stuck inside of your dog. When we flip the key this way, you can kind of see the rest of the tick on the end of the key. You see like, you see his little gross body right there at the end? And then right over here is the rest of the tick on that little piece of hair that we got off with the tweezers. So this tick was honestly really small. He had no juice in him, which means he was on Gila for probably only today. If you have a tick that's on your Husky for days or even weeks, it's very possible that that tick can be very big. I'm talking like as big as your pinky nail. They can grow to huge sizes when they've been sitting on your dog for a long time. This kind of stuff causes disease, so it's really important. The moment you see 
that tick or that flea, you can get it off your Husco. Now there is tick and flea preventative out there that you can get for your Siberian Husky. Right, can I get a high five? Yeah. And using tick and flea preventative is a great way to keep your Husky safe. Now we have indoor Huskies, so it's not something that we typically practice, but it is super hot outside. And when the temperatures rise, all the buggos start to come out. And they can just crawl on your Husky's foot just from your Husky stepping outside for two seconds. I'm assuming that's where you picked them up, missus, right outside. So just wanted to make a quick little video for you guys showing you exactly what it looks like when a Husky gets a tick, how to remove it, and how you can prevent your Husco from getting ticks. We're about to go outside and ferminate both of these booties because the fur, is, I mean, look at this, Britney Spears. You got an entire butt of fluff that's ready to come off. So we're gonna go ferminate. We'll have that episode up for you in just a little bit, but I'm super happy that Gila is tick-free and we can show you guys how to keep your Huskos tick-free too. Until next time, guys, we'll see you with another episode of Guess What? Yep, you guessed it, whatever we make. Peace! ba da ba doop boop boop ba doop 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 